Um, I wish I could go back in time. And I wish I could tell this gobby, frightened lad that I used to know that he was going to meet the man of his dreams and that he was going to marry him in front of the whole village without a care in the world. And I wish I could bottle the love in this room and take it back as proof. Can't do that, it's not really practical. <laughs> uh, but I can tell you how proud I am of him, of how far he's come. And I can tell you what a comfort he's been over the past few days. Uh, and what an honour it is to call him my son. Um, the first time I met Robert, I kicked him in the balls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was the day that Aaron found me, actually. And um, I think what sticks most about that situation was um, not Robert crying like a girl for ages, <laughs> was actually the fact that I stole Aaron's wallet that day and he didn't snitch on me to anyone. He was on my side, really, five minutes into knowing me. He has been ever since. So, I just want to say thanks for being two incredible brothers to me. Oh. <laughs> right, well, um, you all know about Grace and how, how everyone they wanted us to cancel today, but, um, but, no, I wasn't doing that because, well, today I got to see my beautiful, my beautiful baby boy, all grown up and married, and, um, that's very precious. <coughs> right, um... I would like to raise a toast to um, these two who are madly in love and to the best, most beautiful son in the world, to my son-in-law and my first gorgeous grandson, to um, two little sisters who are like daughters and to all the amazingly good times that I am going to make damn sure that we have, OK? To, to Mr and Mr Sugden Dingle.